Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, August 17th. You can see temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s this morning. Very warm and muggy out there. Uh, highs over the weekend, several degrees colder than what the models predicted. But with uh, dew points yesterday in the mid-70s, we had heat indexes around the uh, mid to upper 90s. So still a very warm and sticky weekend. And we got more warm and sticky uh, weather for today. We'll continue to be humid right down through midweek before we see a strong cold front that will come uh, pushing through. Now over the next two days, I think uh, we'll have a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Today, probably not until late this afternoon and more likely tonight. And they'll be on a scattered basis right down through much of tomorrow. And then I think as the main cold front and the main low pressure system gets closer, I think we stand a pretty good chance of strong to severe thunderstorms on Wednesday. And we'll look at that in just a second. Currently, you can see the winds across the Great Lakes are out of the south, bringing that warm and humid air up into the region out ahead of a cold front back off to the west. Now, this first cold front's going to be uh, stalling out as it gets over to uh, Michigan here later on Tuesday. That's why I think we'll have scatter storms from late this afternoon right on through Tuesday night and before the main low pressure system tracks up that front. And you can see a live view this morning from uh, Mount Pleasant, Michigan, overlooking the campus of CMU. A nice start to the day with hazy sunshine. Uh, here this morning. You can see on the regional radar you can see the showers and thunderstorms up into the UP back into Iowa to Nebraska and again the individual storms are moving to the northeast this whole uh, area though moving off to the east southeast and again by late this afternoon but especially for tonight we'll see some of that scattered showers and thunderstorms move into the area. Much of this activity here should weaken over the next few hours but then we'll have uh, more redevelopment here especially as we get into the uh, afternoon hours. As far as the weather map for later today, you can see that weakening or uh, stalling out cold front trying to push into the state. Again, it'll stall out over the area and then it'll move back to the north as a warm front as a new low pressure system develops on this front. And we can see that uh, happen as we look at the map for tomorrow. And you can see with that uh, strong low pressure system that's going to be really intensifying as it moves off towards uh, western Lake Superior and uh, by uh, a Thursday morning we expect uh, that to be about 992 millibars so a very strong storm for this time of year and again with warm uh, air pulling up over the uh, front we expect showers and thunderstorms to develop across the area especially off our southwest and uh, for us though mainly scattered storms and you can see the WPC's forecasted uh, precipitation uh, here over the next three days this is over the next 72 hours now it's to be noted that the GFS the European and the Canadian model, I'll give much of the uh, MAC area about a half inch, maybe a three quarters of an inch of rain here over the next three days, uh, but mainly around a half an inch, and uh, the area back to the northwest around an inch to uh, possibly some areas over two inches. Now uh, the WPC, you can see they're calling for about half to three quarters of an inch across the area, but I think uh, isolated areas could see as much as two or more inches of rain here in much of the MAC area where the uh, stronger storms uh, may be trained, but certainly a significant weather event. Now the uh, thought behind this is you can see all the heavy precipitation back from the uh, Corn Belt into the upper Great Lakes. That's going to, I think, allow that area to escape the uh, best chance for severe storms. With lesser precipitation across much of the MAC area, I think we stand a higher chance of seeing severe storms on Wednesday. Much is going to depend on uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, or rather Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning, how much stor storms we have overnight. If we hang on to the clouds during the day on Wednesday and don't develop a lot of instability, then the chances of severe storms will be lessened. However, if we get breaks in the clouds and have any kind of sunshine on Wednesday morning, then we could be looking at quite a severe weather day on Wednesday. And you can see that's what the uh, uh, storm prediction forecast shows, a pretty good area of a slight risk of severe storms including all lower Michigan back into the Ohio Valley. So some we're going to keep an eye on here over the next uh, a day or two to see how that setup is. But certainly we have a chance for strong to severe storms on Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day, a great work week in 73 is to all.